Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's Blake and today I'm doing my nails on this channel. So today I'm doing some heart line art nails. It's been, uh, this design was pretty trendy and I just had to try it out, be pretty festive. So I'm just starting out with prepping my nails, um, pushing back my cuticles and buffing the shiny layer and all that. So. I have decided to put my nail videos back onto this main channel. Some of you may know I am a nail tech and I have a nail license, I do nails, I make press-ons, all of that. And some of you may know I made a separate nail channel almost a year ago and I just couldn't manage uploads on both channels. I work on this channel pretty seriously and most of my sponsorships are here on this channel when I do have them and managing prioritizing and managing uploads on both. I can never get around to uploading on my second channel because I was always worried about the, the uploads that needed to go up on this one and I never had enough time or I didn't make enough time or it just didn't work out for my weeks. So I have about three videos on that channel and on the nail channel which is Blink Nail Studio and I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now because honestly I'm just kind of in this in-between stage. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do um, with it and with this whole brand and things like that but as for right now I'm going to put the nails on this channel because you guys know about my me doing nails on this channel because I talk about it pretty often and I'm always showing you guys my nails and saying like you know talking about press signs I included the whole like business startup and on my vlogs a few months back so I'm not really sure why I felt like I needed to separate it I think it was just like for branding purposes um, which for professional branding and things like that I think I would use that channel but for just my everyday uploads I would love to put them on this channel because I do my nails very often I share with y'all I'm like look at my nails I just did my nails and I think we both like nail stuff <laughs> you know so I'm pretty sure some of y'all get your nails done and you love nail inspo and stuff like that so I think it, it would be very beneficial for me and you guys to just just put the nails on this channel and then you get nail videos because I just could not manage uploading on both channels I always had to worry about the uploads going on this channel because if we're being honest I was you know trying to upkeep um, the monetization and making money and stuff like that just being honest but that's just what it is and so I always prioritize my main channel over the nail channel and I could just never get it started so well I did start it but I couldn't keep up with it so if you want to see um, some old videos, I'll, there's three videos on that channel and I'll just keep it there for right now. But now for this new year, I'm doing um, nail videos on this channel. Again, I've done a few on this channel, maybe in like 2019, but I'm excited to be bringing them back because I have lots of old videos that I didn't upload and I just have lots of ideas that I want to do and I can never get them done. So yeah, we're nails are live on this channel and I hope you guys enjoy it so yeah I'm just prepping my nails today I'm doing a gel nail extension this is the first time I'm using this builder in a bottle gel I really like it it's very convenient this one is from beyond beyond nail supply um, I can't remember but so I'm just doing a quick extension in a square shape So I'm just filing and shaking my nails after doing the extension. I don't know how much of the nail prep and stuff I should include. I don't know if that's really boring, so I kind of fast forwarded through that part, but I'm just shaping my nails, getting them as perfect as I can. I am so nitpicky about my shape. I feel like I can, my shaping could be so much better, so I'm really um, working on that, but I spend forever on them. And it's also so like, difficult doing your own nails i'm for the most part going to show my right hand because i'm left-handed and i just naturally am able to do my right hand better um but the way that i have to contort my body and my hands to be able to like get in there and really file and make everything even <laughs> my hand will start cramping up and everything so yeah but that's just how it is doing your own nails um so i'm just going in with my e-file now and making all of the surfaces smooth and i love this part because i can really see it makes the nail kind of opaque and I can really see the shape and go back in and get any uh, spots that I missed. So 
So I'm using an 80 grit nail file to do most of the shaping. I actually really like hand filing when I'm shaping. I used to really want to use the e-file, um, but I find that I have more control when I use a hand file um, and you just have to get a thick enough, not thick, but a coarse enough grit uh, nail file so you're not overworking your arms and stuff. Um, but I love hand filing for shaping. So time to do the art. I have a few reds and pink shades and a white that I'm going to be using to create this design. I feel like I have a skinnier nail art brush and I didn't use it. And so my lines ended up being pretty thick. I went back and looked at, I didn't have any reference when I was doing these. I just kind of did it up based off the memory and um, my lines ended up being pretty thick. I think they ended up thicker than I really wanted, but it's fine. It ended up being cool. Um, but I'm starting off the heart with a dotting tool. I saw this on a Pinterest video, someone's nail page. I don't know who exactly, but uh, they did a heart with a dotting tool and it looked, and made it so much easier just to get that round and to start it off. So that's what I'm doing with the red color. Um, but yeah, my lines were pretty thick and I know I have a skinnier line brush. I'm not really sure why I didn't use it. So I'm starting off this heart on the thumb. I'm doing like a full heart. I don't, what is this design called? Like just line, line art, heart outlines. I'm not really sure, but I'm starting with the red and going lighter out. And for all of the shades, I pretty much went in with two coats and I didn't really show it just to keep the video moving forward, but I did about two coats because these are regular gel polishes that I'm using and they're like cheap gel polishes that I got probably from AliExpress years ago. I'm ready to upgrade my gel polishes, but uh, they all needed about two coats, but I don't think I really showed that. So now I'm going in with my second color and surprisingly I don't have like a lot. I feel like the shades that I use are pretty okay. I probably could have mixed some colors um, but I didn't but it's fine. I'm really not sure what I'm talking about my gel polishes but I really do want to get some more some more colors. I feel like I have so many holes in my like selection of gel colors so I'm ready to expand that. Um, as much as I do nails, I've pretty much only done nails on myself. I took clients for a little bit, but I found that it was not my favorite thing taking clients. It caused like a lot of anxiety for me. So um, I've always just pretty much done my own nails and I didn't have to worry about like every color that I needed. I, I just worried about the colors that I wanted. So I don't have like a huge, huge selection. I have just about like one color of, of everything. So I'm gonna expand it. The cool thing about this design is that it can be any colors. I've seen some that were brown tones and that was actually the video that I referenced. It was browns like chocolates and tans. Um, but I thought it would be cool since it's a heart to make it red and pink theme, um, very festive, but it can be like any shade. And then, so like when it's red and pink, it kind of looks very Valentine-y, but if you do like blues or browns, it can be, you know, any season. So I really like this design. I really like all of the kind of negative space, abstract line arts. That's really popular and trendy right now for nails. And it's just kind of like squiggly lines and it just looks really cute. So I'll definitely probably be doing one of those next. Maybe on my natural nails. I've been really into, okay, so. I, I, this was the first time, this video is the first time I've done nail extensions, like giving myself longer nails permanently that aren't press-ons um, for months. Maybe like I, almost probably six months, I pretty much had no nails or I was just wearing press-ons for a little bit. But when I was working on opening my press-on shop, I was not wearing nails just to be able to work more efficiently and you know being at home all the time having to stay home and just really i didn't have any i didn't need to wear nails all the time like it was just i just want to be chilling you know not worry about nails but i wanted to get back into it so i have not been wearing nails and i completely got out of practice of wearing long nails so um I've been hitting them like I got really used to wearing long nails but now that I got them back I've been hitting them like oh, and it hurts so bad I forgot about this pain but 
um thankfully with gel gel does not hurt as bad as acrylic like gel doesn't bond to your nail bed as bad as acrylic does or at least for me it doesn't and it lasts just as long um for me on my nail beds um so i really like gel for that reason as opposed to acrylic which is kind of funny because i started off loving acrylic i loved acrylic it was just like so fun for me but once i found out gel and started working with it I love a good gel now and then I really do love press-ons and I started um, getting into poly gel poly gel was okay I feel like it was a little messy for me um, and the way that I did it I would have to try it in the like duo form way I did it with like just sculpting a poly gel nail straight out and I found that it was kind of messy because gel can be kind of messy because it's just super super sticky um, and poly gel was kind of that way but then I liked how it would you could really shape it like acrylic so it's definitely in between like gel and acrylic but it's a little sticky I don't know I I that I've the first time I worked with it was not too long ago so I would definitely try it again Just continue with my nail design uh, bringing it out I'm doing this thumb I really love the full design and I only did it on my thumb because I was ready to be done one thing about nails is that it requires a lot of patience that I didn't know and I can be impatient sometimes and sometimes just having like set another light for 60 seconds and like do absolutely nothing is so painful for me <laughs> so doing nails teaches uh, patience I would say Hopefully y'all are enjoying this video. Um, I really don't know. I feel like I don't talk about a lot of things that I do. So when I'm like, oh yeah, I, I do, I'm a nail tech. They're like, oh my gosh, you can do nails. And it's like, yeah. So I probably won't be like super, super informative in doing these videos or at least not right now. Um, but I do have a little bit of nail talk and lingo and stuff like that. So hopefully it's not too different, but at the same time, who cares? Probably gonna be doing my nails just about every week now that I have them on this channel because now me making a nail video counts for a video on this channel so I could I'm not sure why it makes more sense to do them on both channels like how it's easy to how it was so hard to do it on two different channels but it was like for some reason like just it would be it was like a free upload like a, I was spending time uploading on a channel where it didn't count as much and I, I guess I just wasn't, I wasn't for putting in that work on starting a new channel again. It was just dividing my time. And at the end of the day, like, even me doing nails on that channel, I got a lot of emails. I'm like, oh, do you want to use this nail polish? Do you love to, like, sponsor this video? But they didn't want it on the nail channel. They wanted it on my main channel. But I was trying to build my nail channel, and I had to put it on my main channel. So, I don't know. If that makes sense, it makes sense. But that's why it was just like so hard to keep that nail channel. So yeah, I'm basically merging like everything. If you guys have been seeing some of my recent uploads, like I'm just expanding uh, my content and sharing with you guys all the other stuff that I do besides hair content um, because I do a lot of other stuff and I just kind of want this channel to be um, a direct reflection of me and who I am and um, that's very much a like multifaceted very creative um, person who crafts a lot and dabbles in so many things and um, I just want to be I want to I want a place to be able to just go and do whatever I want and not feel like it, things don't match or embarrassed or like people won't care or anything like that I just want a place where I can go and everything's good and all right and I can do whatever I want 
Um, so that's why I'm making this. And uh, for the most part, I got a good response. So I know you guys are okay with it, but I'm just letting y'all know, like, that's my thought process. Yeah, just trying to fill up the video so it doesn't get too boring. Um, I'm almost finished up with this design. I'm just, for these last fingers, like I was having so much trouble deciding on like how I wanted the line. And this is where it got like really, really thick. I feel like I could have done double the amount of lines, but again, it's okay. I was just free handing and just, you know, doing my nails for fun. So it was all cool. So this white gel polish that I'm using is actually an art gel, so it's a bit thicker and it doesn't move and I really enjoyed using it. I don't have, I only have a black and a white one and I definitely want to get some of different colors of the art gels because it was so easy to use and it came with this liner brush. It wasn't like the thinnest, thinnest, but it was thinner than my other brush that I was using. So I really like this. This is also from... I'm pretty sure it's beyond nail supply. I feel like it used to be glamour nail supply, but this one's now beyond nail supply. Um, but yeah, like in the DF Dallas Fort Worth DFW area, there's a few um, beyond nail supply. Wait, beyond? Did I say glamour? Yeah, or glamour. I can't remember like which one, but this one that I went to is now beyond nail supply. And I think it used to have a different name, but I'm not sure. So that's where this is from. So as for the press on, so this year I'm just basically trying to simplify everything so as far as like press-ons i definitely wanted to have something like up and running back again in february this month but i'm also not trying to pressure myself into doing things that i don't necessarily want to do so i enjoyed doing the press-ons and for what it and doing it for what it was um, but i'm just trying to make sure i'm doing things that are steering me in the direction that I want to go in so I'm trying to figure it out I'm as you see I'm putting my nails back on this channel so that means like do I need a nail brand and this year I was definitely getting into like legalizing my businesses but then I changed my mind so I'm just trying to like really fill out and make sure I'm 100% in everything I'm doing before I start you know spending money on things that make your brand like super official so bear with me I know like I want to make press-ons and sell them but at the same time, like, do I want to make press on and sell them? I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm definitely, if I do come back, which I'm pretty sure I will, it'll be done a little bit differently. I will make press ons and they will, I'm going to make a, like batches of them and then put them up and sell what I have. So I'm not making them to order. That was a little bit exhausting for me, although I really enjoyed it, but it was a little bit harder work than it needed to be I could simplify that process a little bit better so yeah <laughs> you know I'm just trying things out and at the end of the day I'm, a t I'm the type of person who I do one thing and then I move on to the next unfortunately so um, I really didn't want to start that press on business and I did it and so I <laughs> naturally I'm like moving on to the next thing and unfortunately for y'all that means you know I won't be doing I'm could possibly not be doing it again but um it's just like me to do that so um i'm doing the left hand all red in this red color this is beetles i think it's a beetle polish from amazon and then i'm gonna add like a little gold heart to my pointer finger um, i always do my hands differently just because i am left-handed so i can't do my right i can't do my left hand as well as i can my right so i usually will have two different designs because um for that reason and it makes it cool like when they coordinate it looks like super cool like oh my gosh you have two different okay so yeah like you have two different nail designs and it always looks cool especially when you make them coordinate and it looks even better yeah that's about it just doing a top coat and i just stuck that on with clear nail i mean i stuck it on with a clear top coat uh because it really didn't need anything else but uh yeah, these are the finished nails. I really loved them. I really liked doing it. And I liked the shape and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.